this video. I wasn't gonna record this, but this is some crazy shit right here. I'm delivering to a Popeyes AC units. I had to back in off that street. Go around. You guys by chance carry a wrench that would fit that for changing the spare tire? You know how you get the lock on hubs? I don't have anything like that. Nothing? No. Maybe the plug. I might have a socket, but can you, can you wait a little bit here? What are we talking about, wait? I have to put these on top of those. Okay. I don't mean to be rude. No, I'm, I'm, I'm on a fucked up schedule. My wife just ruined that tire by driving with no air in it. Yeah, I that's hear a, you. That's a $1,400 day. Yep. You gotta be careful, I got a lady standing. I got a meeting at 12.15, so I got a great day going. one AC unit off and it's taking forever for him to get it back down on the roof <laughs> we got two more to go and he's lifting those boxes up and put them on top of the AC unit so because they don't have a forklift so that's for them to worry about getting off the top of the roof not my problem This is gonna be a Popeyes, people. So bad they're not open. I can't get my Popeyes chicken sandwich. And Zeke, you better stop barking at people over here. See so you guys. It looks wide because my angle, my the, my camera angle. But uh, these vans might have to move for me to get out of here. So I'm gonna have to run over that curb, I believe. And then this this black car right here, she blew a tire. So that's the reason why. They're trying to have me back in through there, but my truck would have hit that building. Uh, so I backed in from this way off the street, curved in, and then turned in here. So that was like the easiest way. It's cold out here, babies. It's cold out here, babies. Using a crane for them little boxes. Look at that crane. Alright, we've done our job. We're done. 
Uh, let's see if we can get the, the freak out of here, man. <laughs> I don't know. This dude's still struggling with the tire. pickup supposedly it's some bobcats Just picking up some bobcats to put in a zoo I needed a minimum of 10 chains 10 binders so we're about to see what we're gonna pick up I only got a 48 flat right now as you guys probably seen you guys are probably uh, confused I picked up a preloaded trailer down in Arkansas brought it to Minnesota that's what I just delivered at the Popeyes so I got this 48 flat that I hate and I'm going to pick up some bobcats so I'm probably only going to get about three because I got this tiny trailer. <laughs> Damn my blinker's probably been annoying you guys. All right, what's up, y'all? We are at our next pickup. We are picking up some bobcats. They made me wait till my appointment time, which was at three, and I got here at like 11.40, um, and it's 2.28 now, so I am backed up into the door. What is this dude doing? I don't think I'm only getting three bobcats, people. There's no way. I can fit way more on this trailer. Maybe like five or four. I don't, maybe five with the 53 foot. I don't know. Um, but somebody just left and I don't know if he had a chain right. I don't know. It looked kind of funky. It is cold here, guys, but we're about to get loaded. I'm in my truck right now, so I'm kind of warm, but I already ordered some. It's starting to snow, guys. There is snow here this weekend, so in Minnesota. So I ordered some fuzzy thermal socks that I need. I'm every single winter I'm never prepared. So, but this year I'm gonna be prepared. I'm gonna start looking up like, uh, like turtlenecks, 
like turtlenecks and stuff so I'm not freezing my A off my teeth are starting to hurt this tooth I think it's because I just got my braces adjusted though and because of the cold <sighs> damn dude I'm starting to load this shit fast oh I got one the green one <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna go on the other side. I feel weird because they're staring at me. Uh oh. There's a lot of flatbeds coming in now. Alright, I've hauled one of these things in my jigs before. One, two, three, four. Maybe I'm getting four. Alright y'all, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this lubricant on my binders because, man, they need it. They need some lube. They need some lube. These things are always not working on me. I'm going to lube her up. Probably don't need that much, but uh, I probably actually do. <sighs> these darn pieces of poop binders. I hate these things. <sighs> All right, that should do it. I got more I gotta take out in my rack, but uh, I'm gonna start start getting my. I should have took them all out and then sprayed them while they were hanging on my trailer, but gotta get a system, guys. For all you new flatbed drivers or whatever open deck drivers when you get your stuff out <laughs> it just slipped on all the lube when you get all your stuff out 
and you get a system and you get used to hauling the same loads that you usually do you'll get a system down and you'll start securing them faster and better you'll get a rhythm uh, but when you first start it's always hard to get a rhythm down and it seems like you're taking forever it'll take you hours to secure a load down Zeke rolled my darn window down I gotta stop him from barking at people Alright y'all, we're finished, we're all secured down, got the booms down with the strap, had a young young man help me, help me a little bit with the, this first one up here, my binder got stuck on it, and I was like, uh, I'm gonna need some help, I can't get this binder off, <laughs> he's a... Uh, he pulls, he's like a, one of the yard dogs. He said he's the leader of safety, I believe. He said he's gonna follow my channel. <laughs> Shout out to him. He works on the yard here where I picked up at. Um, hello. So, we're all ready to get on down the road now. Oh, I forgot this box is broken. I must lift it open. Alright, <laughs> sorry. But yeah, this is what, this is our... Alright y'all, sorry for the late update, but we made it to Missouri. We passed the Missouri line, huzzicky poo. <laughs> we passed the Missouri line, I'm on a rest area right now. We are going to call it a night tonight. We're out of hours, huh, Ziki? We're out of hours, Ziki Poopoosh. We are done driving for today. Uh, yeah. See, I'm about done. I'm doing my stretches, huh? You doing your little stretches? Yeah, I'm doing little stretches. But I'll see you guys in the morning. I know there's a Dunkin' Donuts up here, so I'm going to be getting my iced coffee in the morning. You already know. You already know. That's how Big Big Becca roll. Big Big Becca roll.
about me going in the fuel aisle. I'm trying to see if I can get fuel here. So thank you very much. I've never tried to get fuel here before. But gosh darn it. We're about to see. I don't have a Sap Bros reward number. Oh, I think it's gonna work. chain now I'm just gonna put my chain away try to make it my next delivery I think they stopped receiving at five
Alright y'all, I almost about ripped my nail off, but I got the delivery done. Now I'm about to try to make it to the next delivery in Springdale. Go on guys. Woo. First delivery accomplished. Town babies. and be like, oh yeah, this isn't the unloading dock, this is the loading dock. <laughs> So we didn't make that third delivery, so I'll be making that delivery here in the morning. Uh, for now, I'm at the yard. I'm going to go home, get myself a nice shower, clean myself up a bit, and then take the doggies home. Oh, big yawns! Oh, big yawns! And uh, we'll try out it again in the morning. Sadly, couldn't get it off, but it's because they put that wrong address and I went to Cox Cable, went in there with my truck, and... They don't mess me up. <laughs> oh, and look at this uh, Dunkin' Donuts chapstick I got, you guys. This is awesome. It like connects to your little keychain. No, it's not food. We made it back to the yard. Yes, I got my corner, cor corner, <laughs> corner fender sticks. Uh, I guess the mechanic said this is the third time he's came out and fixed them, and they just keep uh, twisting inward. So uh, they might have to put a screw in it to stop them from twisting, but uh. I made it back to the yard. This is my last drop right here in Fort Smith, about 18 miles down the road. Uh, so I'm gonna deliver this real quick and then I'm gonna go pick up my step deck trailer. <clears throat> hey guys. Hey guys, I'm very much testing my luck on my fuel level right now. My fuel is very low, and I'm just cruising with my fuel low, which is not a good thing. So I do not want to follow the footsteps of my dad because my dad always runs out of fuel. <laughs> no shade, Dad, but you do run out of fuel a lot, and you know that. So. Be 
at my dad in a few while. There she goes, the last little excavator. And that's it, people. Easy as that. Those those things are really easy to deliver, actually. It doesn't take too long. Just a couple chains, a couple binders, and you're done. <clears throat> All right, they told me to come out the same gate I came in because apparently people get stuck in the other gate. <laughs> this is a pretty skinny road that I came in on. gonna take my my tarps off and put them on this trailer and then connect and stuff all that goody goody all that goody goody stuff Alright y'all, that was it for this video. I just want to thank y'all so much for tuning in. I love you guys. Thanks for all your love and support. And I hope y'all come along with me for the ride in the next video. I'll see y'all. Peace.